Hello and welcome to Round 2 Frontline Action of the 2024 St. Patty's Sling, brought to you by the Greater Oconee County Disc Golf Club. This event is held on the Sertoma Disc Golf Course Spicy Layout. Catch cam today we have Michael Baker, walkthrough footage Vern Wyant, and commentary team today is Vern Wyant and Heath Rankin. On the card today we have Alex Durham from Central South Carolina. Lauren Fleeman from Pickens, South Carolina. Reed Ward from Chester, South Carolina. And Heath Rankin from Seneca, South Carolina. Hole one is an island hole, 184 feet across the creek, and the added extra OB makes this an especially difficult starting hole. So Alex switches from the forehand and grabs that green putter that mm -hmm. he just throws so good. It's not broke, don't try to fix it. Exactly. He threw the same shot, just didn't get it to quite flip up like the first round. I think for the beginning of a second round, I always like a hole where you can just, just jam it, you know, put some oomph behind it. It's tough to start off with a touch shot, but your first throw on the It really round. is. And then you add an island. Yeah. And that's just a bad miss. You don't want to go a little left like I did. And Larry gets it a little right. Almost century. So three of us at the drop zone here. I think Reed was just laying that one up. Yeah. Just take your medicine. Yeah. That's what makes the spicy layout fun is typically no one is going to bogey this hole. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a good bit at it. Yeah, that little bit of tailwind was in my head there. You can see the leaves moving, so. Got a downhill putt like that, it's it'll mess with you. Mm. Just left again. Yeah, that's a scary putt. The, uh, the ladies, great putt there. Yeah. The, the ladies actually had a playoff on this hole, and all three of them missed the island. All three of them had to putt, and the girl that won it, Shanna Henson, she made the putt from the wow. top zone. It's a great putt. Not how you want to start the round. Pick up a bogey. Yeah, this is Alex really getting stroke on the entire field here. Yeah. Essentially parks it and puts one in from 15 feet. And everybody else is taking bogeys. Yep. All right, hole two, 251 uphill. All this that you see right here is OB. You got the road up the hill OB. If you want to land on this island, you hope that your uh, shot checks up because you can see this line right here on the right is OB. I think for righties, the backhand is the way to go. Mm hmm. Alex just turns it over too much. Yeah, got a little tree directed there and did not go the right direction. So round one, Reed had the skip OB, so we'll see if he makes the correction and pushes more left. Yeah, he does. So he hits the gap a lot wider. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of room there. I an early release again. You could see the braces on my leg, so I've been having some knee issues, and I think that has a lot to do with my plant. Oh, okay. And so I have a problem with early release in four hands. Oh, just low. 
but he skips in. Great little run. Yeah. And as you can see, this drop zone is you're not gonna see many par saves. <laughs> no, no. You gotta you gotta throw one in from about eighty to a hundred, so That's a great bid. That's Good a great tip. bird to pick up. Bogey, bogey, not the start you want, but when you're playing island holes, it's it'll happen to you. Mm-hmm. So it makes this layout spicy. Island, island, basically an island for three. Yeah. Speaking of hole three, par four, 650 feet with a spicy layout. First thing you want to do is have a good throw that lands inbounds here. To the right and to the left, the taller grass is a hazard. Um, if you go past this, we do have the trees, um, part of that same area too, the hazard area. And right here, the flags. You've got um, a little crossway in between here. Fra uh, flags in the front, flags at the back here. That marks a place that you don't want to be. You got to get land in front of the flags and then land behind the flags here. Tough hole. It's kind of a sucker hole because you you really want to just throw one super hard here and go yeah. for it. And again, you can see there's no wind out here. This is just a great day for disc golf. Mm -hmm. Good correction from round one from mm -hmm. right there. That's a play. There's enough room. You, if you're throwing the left to your uh, backhand or righty forehand, you just want to push it far left, mm -hmm. something stable. Yeah, Larry just got that a little high, so he's going to be in the hazard. Pretty sure Alex is going to go for the green again. Just didn't flip enough again. I hear a little bit of wind in the background there, so I got to think that, that just kept it from doing what he wanted to. I don't think he's in a creek this time, though. No. So my goal is to just throw it harder and more left to keep it in bounds this time. And this is a great shot. Yeah, mission accomplished there. Right dead center. Use it for your upshot here. This is a hex. I thought a little right than I wanted, but it checks up nicely on the green. Mm-hmm. Early release is low, but it skips in. It's a great lip. Alex and Jill again, but once again, not OB. There's that putt. Mm -hmm. He knew he was picking up his disc while it was flying. Yeah, so. Like an MJ trick there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, again, both Alex and, and Reed have just very nice putting strokes. Yeah. Super solid. This is obstructed a little bit here. Able to knock it out and get that birdie, though. That's a solid stroke as well. It is. After two bogeys, it feels good to get a birdie. All right, hole four, 255 feet. This is a par three uphill the entire way, so it feels more like you're throwing, you know, the 280 to 290 range. Hazard is all around the basket, so you want to keep it low and just kind of check up on the grass here. 
<laughs> Not sure what Reed's throwing. It's a great shot. Mm -hmm. That's that low shot you want to hit early. Looks like Alex is throwing a glow hex here. That's that's high, and there's a right to <laughs> trying to knock out the cameraman here. Right to left wind. So if you expose that flight plate, just I think like I did here, expose it a little much, but that's great. Yeah. Larry's going to use that zone again. Mm -hmm. That's a great play, too. Something that's going to get down fast. Mm -hmm. Alex, uh, he got me on this one. I almost missed a couple other ones, but he was firing before I was ready to shoot there. Oh, what a putt. That was nice. That's a great birdie. And that's an, a weird miss. I think he uh, rushed that putt once again there. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better when you're having a bad day like Larry to get a birdie. Yeah. It's like just when you're ready to quit playing disc golf and throw your bag in the creek, you're like, okay, I'll, I'll keep going, I guess. Yeah. So he took his time there, got in the rhythm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he knows that one got away from him. Yeah. He did the right thing. He focused on his routine and made the putt. Yeah, and it took me a while to learn that. But if if I even these short putts, you gotta take your time. Hole five, two hundred seventy-three foot par three. First goal is to make it past these trees here. You got OB on the left-hand side. A straight shot is exactly what the doctor ordered here. Lots of trouble to get into on the left and right-hand side. First on the tee, that feels good. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a great place to be. Yep. Kept it a little more right to avoid that pole this time. <laughs> <laughs> and for those that don't know, the pole there was this really nice split tree. Oh. That a storm came through. And so the rec department decided to put an obstacle there. <laughs> and I love the flags. Yeah. And so we're, we're hoping to get a, our local club flag up there soon. I think that'd nice. be cool. Oh, didn't you say, uh, what was the guy's name that's uh, with rec that played a tournament? Andrew Martinez. <clears throat> yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, he was he was definitely a huge help in preparing for this tournament and helping get the course ready. So we really appreciate that. Yeah. Man, what are the odds of hitting that manhole cover? About the same as that pole, I guess. <laughs> Alex throwing the what? Catch cam decided to move because he almost got hit. And Alex putting it in the same spot. Just to hopefully get the third birdie in a row. That feels good. Oh, yeah. Now you're moving in the right direction. Yeah. Just a slow start, but. Again, it's never too late for a birdie. It feels good mm -hmm. to get those birdies. No, Larry just got a couple in a row. Yeah. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, it is so hard to try to TD and play a tournament. Yeah, I definitely learned my lesson. <laughs> Speaking of learning lessons, Reed uh, learned from that putt he missed on the last hole and took his time, went through his routine, nailed this one. All right, hole
hole six, 180 feet, short hole. I feel like you gotta get this one, but there's a lot of trees. Creek is uh, in play, OB on the left. Still got the box. Come with the zone of us here. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> Even caught it off the tee. Oh, man. I thought for sure that that was going to stick in there. Yeah, just a little, right? But that's a great shot. Now, this is your local course, and you've got what, like 400, 500 aces out here? I've got a bunch out here. <laughs> you know, we used to live uh, about three minutes from here when I first started playing, so wow. I learned to play on this course. and really appreciate the the wreck for keeping this course beautiful this mm -hmm. is a great course that's just right and low yeah so far I've aced half of this course I've got none of these holes <laughs> wow so Alex. Right hand gap again. Yeah, Alex with the watch. Just such touch. Larry with a great bid. That's mm -hmm. a long putt. This is not where you want to be. I guess he's lucky he didn't black ace that other basket. Yeah. Shout out to my wife for uh, black acing uh, hole five. <laughs> Great putt. Yeah, Alex just he's filling the filling the putt now. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's rolling along like you expect Alex to play. Oh yeah. Great putt from Larry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tried to sneak through the chains on it you. It did. Hole seven. Very similar from hole six. Um, but this one's a little bit longer and a little bit more to the right. You want to have that same type of forehand or turnover backhand shot, but you got to push it even further if you want to go over here to the basket. Just look it out for all these guardian trees. Still with the box. Yeah, it felt good. Under par now, so. That's too straight. I knew it. You have to go inside of the those trees with something stable. So like over top of that little fence area there? Mm-hmm. That's the perfect, perfect gap. And there you go. Wow. So that's a great correction for uh, Alex this time, keeping it lower. Mm-hmm. That's very straight. Touchy shot though, it's easy to push it too straight. Yeah. Looks like an over mold disc. Reed still got a little inside. Mm. It's a tough gap to hit. Yeah. Reed going for the layup. I think that worked out for him. And that's just unfortunate. We're still trying to lay that one up. Mm -hmm. Great up shot by Larry. So I left myself in an obstructed spot. And it was actually a good putt. So. Yeah. Retaking his time, making a great putt. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you can tell when Alex is feeling it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what a two. Yeah, it's a great two. Mm. Basket just treating Larry really bad there. That's, yeah, you hate to see that. Yeah. Hole eight, uh, Mando there on the right, so you gotta stay left of that. Straight up the hill, um, rollaways happen a lot. You can see there's a bunch of guardians on the left and the right. It's easy to hit one of those, roll back down. And even when you're putting, this, this basket will get in your head. So the yellow putter is very similar to the green one. It's just hmm. a newer, more stable version. I was going to ask about that. What yeah. happened to old greenie there? I'm pretty sure they're PA2s. But that's his newer one. But still, he throws it great. Mm-hmm. Reed throwing a similar shot, just keeping it low. Yep. Skipping right up there. <laughs> yeah, that was a little nose up and high, but got it up there. Got a putt. That was the crave I threw there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a great shot. A little rough root kick there, but yeah, I mean, he, Larry did his part. That's just not good. Low. Good puff from Larry. Mm-hmm. taking his time pays off yeah showing why it matters you really want to always get that rhythm Alex just keeping his bag on he don't care <laughs> <laughs> missed your drop in there but caught the end of it Oh nine, 9 a short shot but a great shot 251 foot downhill par 3 this is a great ace run shot, and if you don't get the ace here, but you want to land in this bowl down here, so you got an easy birdie look. Alex gets it a little right, but checks up nicely. Yeah, it's easily in Alex range. Yeah. Great ace run once again by Reed. Yeah. Not sure what Larry's throwing here. Great shot. Mm -hmm. You're running it too. Yeah. You might as well on this one. Yeah, Alex just in the rhythm. Mm -hmm. Good putt from Reed. Mm -hmm. Good puff from Larry. Mm -hmm. And with you having the CTP here, that gives us our first star frame. Yeah. yeah. Here we are at the end of uh, the front.
front nine in round two. Um, Alex is currently 10 down total, and Reed is nine down. Got a hot match. We'll see you in the back nine.